Hey guys, good morning. It's Tuesday and did you ever wonder how we found uh, workshop locations? Then join us in today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors because today we're actually going to scout a location where I'm going to do a workshop in June. And trust me, this one is really special. So enjoy today's episode. So, Anna Week, where are we going today? To the zoo. To the zoo. And to see your family. <laughs> <laughs> and first we have to make a stop, right? And where do we go? Yeah, we have to pick up uh, Chaim in Apeldoorn. Okay, so first up, Apeldoorn. And then, Burger Zoo in Arnhem. Arnhem. morning. If I had only known. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we arrived at the location, Burger Zoo, and let's go in and meet our contact person and get a small tour and see if there are great locations for the workshop. Okay, so you can follow the animals on Facebook and I actually heard that one of the monkeys has more followers than me. Yeah, have to work on that one. Don't you just love the differences in temperature? Really fake. Okay, so we have the meeting now with Denise, our contact person, and after that we're gonna walk through the zoo and find some cool locations. So we have Chaim. Hi guys. And Denise from Burger Zoo. Hi. And of course Anoui. And we got some really cool things. <laughs> Ocean. Imagine a model in front of this, a little bit of strobes, a little bit of sharks. Awesome.
And what kind of monkeys are that? Never saw those. Weird. Caution, live animals. Now that, we have to find out if that's really true. Whoa. Hello. Hey. Are you a live animal? Yes. We are. Okay guys, so we're walking around. Absolutely love the zoo, great zoo. But for a workshop, we do have some problems. And to be honest, I don't think this is gonna be the workshop we're gonna do. But I will explain that later in the video. Okay, we're done with walking around. Again, great zoo. The thing is, for my workshops, I want to give the students the absolute quality, meaning they have to go home with stunning images. And that's the problem. When we do a workshop with model photography, we want to get the models close to the animals. And that's something that was not possible here. Now, this zoo was amazing if you have a long lens, but not if you have to put a model in front of the animals. You can do it with a 200 or 400 millimeter lens, but still you don't get that unique picture. So although we love the location and I really was looking forward to it, the ocean part was too dark. You really need 25,000 ISO and that's way too much. And the outside parts, the animals are just too far away. So a lot of work went into this one, but we're gonna skip it. Okay, because we are in Arnhem, we're actually gonna visit a very special place. You all know Nadine, right? She has a store here, so let's go. That's Nadine's sister. Awesome shop, so if you're ever in Arnhem and you need some really cool vintage clothing, check them out. Look what we found now, comics or strips. So we almost got home with the Mercedes because Anna Week actually tried to open up the wrong car. Honey, this is the car. I know. And, yeah. I and this one works. <laughs> Bye. Okay, before we go home, we still have to go to one more place, and that's Camera Nu, because we're gonna pick up the Alpha 6500, because we really want the vlog to be a better quality for you guys.
And sometimes you see beautiful cars on the internet, right? I'm gonna show you a beautiful car that's parked next to our studio, actually on a parking lot. Isn't this absolutely awesome? Still have to find a guy to get it for a workshop. But I still like my car a little bit better. Hey, Henrik, what do you got? Hürden mix. Okay, Chaim told us that this was really great, like? It's Salmia candy. Okay, do you like it? Yes, I do. Yeah, we almost ate the whole box right. Yeah. No. But don't eat too much because you will get a headache. Headache? Stomach ache. Okay, we're back home and we got mini mail time. So it's not much, but there's something really cool in the mail. Now, you know I love to draw, so we got this book in How to Draw Fantastic Horror Comic Characters. Thank you so very much for sending this. This will be really nice. And if you see in the studio the wall behind me, actually in front of me, there's a lot of these plates. And I love the Coca-Cola ones and of course the superheroes, so in this case Superman. And thank you so very much for sending this. It's really cool. You already saw me picking up the a6500 at Camera Nu. The reason is very simple. I really fell in love with the quality of those cameras for the vlog. And we wanted to do it better for you guys. The thing is that at the moment I'm shooting it with the A7R2, but that's the camera I also use to take photographs. So combining photographs with video, not a really good idea. So we picked up the A6500 today with some cool lenses. Now let me look at what we got. We actually got the 20mm pancake, so it's a really small lens. The 16 also a pancake, really small. And the body. So starting tomorrow, we're going to be using this for the vlog. Okay, so we're back home from Burgessoe. Now, we always try to scout for awesome locations for the workshops. And Chaim helps us out with that a lot. Now today you actually saw something that was the end of a long long preparation. So we have talks before, uh, we try to get a good price that all the students can actually afford the workshop and then we finally have to check out the location. And in this case everything looked great. But as soon as we were there I realized the distance between the animals is too large and in the ocean we needed too high of an ISO to shoot. So a lot of preparation went into this. And I was really looking forward to it. We told some students and they already registered. But you know, I want to give that optimum quality. I want to give the guys the best workshop possible. And of course I can tell you a lot about shooting animals with 400 mils and what depth of field does and apertures. But I want to do something with models and the distance there was just too much. So you see a lot of preparation, gone. But hey, we always try to get the best workshop location possible. So up to the next one. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors. This was it. If you like, subscribe and of course tell others about it. It really helps us out. So, thank you so very much for watching and see you again this week in another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Bye guys.